Hello everyone and welcome to our week four of remote learning. Today I'm going to be talking you guys through uh, a netball session, similar to what we did last week. And we're going to be doing some passing and we're also going to be working on our fitness as well. So before you start, make sure you have got uh, your equipment set up. So I've got my netball here. Um, if you've got a small ball that you can bounce as well, grab that. Uh, but if you don't, like we spoke about last week, you need to use the things around your house. The good idea was some rolled up socks, a rolled up jumper. Um, and if we can't do the activities because we don't have the equipment, you need to just make sure you're doing the ones that you can do. Okay, so don't stress too much if you can't do all of it. Let's just try and be a bit innovative um, and use the things that we've got at home. So, same as last week, we're going to do a warm up for netball. Uh, and we're going to start with some shovel run. Now, some people were a little bit stuck bit confused about shadow runs last week. So I'm going to quickly show you um, what the shadow runs look like and it's going to explain and walk you through uh, the warm-up today. So for my shadow runs, I'm lucky enough that I'm in the gym at school. So I've got two cones. I've got one just here. And I've got one down the back there. Now for a shadow run, I need to start at this cone, run to that one down there and come back. Okay, and that's one. Some people were counting that as two last week. Nope. A shadow run is up and back. Okay, so for me to do two shuttle runs, I need to go up, back, that's one, up, back, that's another one, that's two. Okay, so make sure when you're following um, the planner that's on Shovey that you are doing shuttle run times two. Okay, so we're going to do some jogging, some high knees, some side steps, um, some jogging, touching the ground, and some jogging, jumping in the air. They are our first little set of um, shuttle runs to start off. Okay, then we're going to do a little bit of uh, fitness work, then we'll get into our netball. So, I'm going to actually complete the activity now. So, if you need, grab yourself a drink bottle, like I said before, make sure you've already been to the toilet um, and you're ready to go. In a minute, I'm about to start. So, if you need, press pause. Otherwise, let the video keep going um, and you guys need to copy what I'm doing. So, make sure you're all set up, you've got your shuttle runs ready to go, you've got your equipment. Uh, and we'll get straight into it. Okay. So the first one, under our warm up, okay, we're doing two jogging shuttle runs. So we're starting up nice and easy. We're just gonna get ourselves warmed up. So like I said, shuttle run is when you start at one point, okay, and you go to the other. So I'm actually gonna do the activity for you guys, so I hope you're doing it um, back at home. So two jogging shuttle runs, off we go. Awesome, have a little bit of a rest and have a look at my next activity. So after the jogging shuttle runs, I'm going to be doing some high knees shuttle runs. Remember high knees, your body's nice and straight. Don't lean forward, okay, and you're lifting your knees up as high as you can um, while you're jogging. Okay, so two shuttle runs with high knees. Awesome, have a little bit of a break. Hopefully we're not too puffed out just yet. Okay, because we've still got some side steps to go. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you face. I'm gonna face this way. And I'm doing my side steps all the way down. Stop, keep facing the same way, don't change. Same again. Awesome, there are our side steps. Next one's jogging. And we're going to touch the floor every few steps. We're going to swap hands. Okay, so just your jogging. Side, touch the floor, the floor. Same again. Touch the floor, touch the floor. Touch the floor. Last one. Touch the floor. The floor. Okay, now our last. Um, oh, sorry, we've got two more. We're going to do some jogging and then jumping in the air. So every four steps, I want you to jump up. One, two, three, go. Awesome. 
Make sure you swap legs, okay? So hop off one, hop off the other, make sure you're swapping. Last one. Beautiful. Now our last uh, shuttle run is jogging backwards. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Make sure you got a little bit of space. Okay, and just jogging backwards. Alrighty, so that is your little bit of warm up for shuttle runs done. Um, the next set of shuttle runs, you're just going to be jogging, uh, but when you get to the other end, you're going to be doing a fitness activity. So, whew, I hope we're all a little bit puffed out and getting warm. The first activity uh, is 10 star jumps. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to start down that end um, and I'm going to run to this cone this time, just so you guys can see me. So the first one is two. Um, shuttle runs. I'm going to do 10 star jumps. I'll show you what it looks like. We're starting here. Okay, so same with your normal shuttle run. I'm going to run to that run down there. When I get there this time, I'm not going to turn around and come back. I need to do 10 star jumps before I come back. Okay, and I'm going to do that twice. Starting here, just drop down. I'm at my cone and I've got 10 star jumps. Okay, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I run back. Have a little break. Take some big breaths. Go again. Jog across. Ten star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to run back. Now next on my list of shuttle runs, instead of doing the star jumps, I'm going to be doing some push-ups. Okay, so I'm going to do five push-ups. So once I've got my breath, I'm ready to go again. I jog down, and I've got five push-ups. Go down into five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, if you're a little bit stuck, you can do your push-ups on your knees as well. Okay? So once you're done, head back. And we're doing it twice. So another one. Okay, so push-ups. Five. Make sure your back's straight. Okay? One, two, three, four. Remember, like I said, if you need, you can do your push-ups on your knees. Okay, you can do them that way. It's up to you. Back here, we're going to our last set of the shower run now. Our last little bit of shower runs, we're doing everyone's favourite, which is our burpees, okay? So, five burpees are uh, in between each shower run. So, catch your breath again, take some deep breaths, okay, and then run up. Five burpees, run back. Remember that burpee? Start feet flat on the floor. Up, down, feet out, whoosh, up. That's one. It's two. Three. Four. Five. Back we go. Okay, I'm going to do a break. Some deep breaths because you've got one more set of that. If you guys ever need a break during our videos, just pause it, take some deep breaths, press the play button again. So if you're struggling to keep up, just pause it, have a little break, um, and then press play when you are ready. Let's go. Burpees, five. Up, down, out, push up. It's one, it's two, it's three, four, 
Five. Finish your shot right. Four, two. Okay, good work. We're going to move on to our next activity now. Hopefully your heart is racing a bit. Might be a bit warm, a bit sweaty. Okay, keep it up. The next activity is our numbers game. Now, you guys play the numbers game with me, Mr. Hero, back at school. Um, but you guys can play it at your home as well. So, if you've got a small tennis ball that bounces, great, grab that. Or any small ball that bounces, just grab that. If you've only got a bigger ball, like a soccer ball, a netball, a basketball, that's fine, just grab that. If you haven't got any of those things, like we said before, some rolled up socks, a rolled up jumper, a cushion, a soft toy, you can use any of those things um, for this activity. If it doesn't bounce, that's okay. Just skip that part um, and do the ones you can do. So the ball activity, there's eight activities, okay, and I want you to do each one 20 times. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. So our first one is bounce and catch. Nice and easy. Feet shoulder width apart. Bounce and catch 20 times. Three. Ten. Awesome. 20 times bounce and catch. Try not to let the ball spill away from you. Okay. Toss and catch, just a little throw. Toss and catch, only a little throw. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty. Remember, I'm watching the ball, I'm making my little bucket. To catch it in there. Next one is toss, clap and catch. Okay, so 20 there. Beautiful, 20. Activity number three, okay, is, um, oh sorry, number four, is bouncing with your left hand. Okay, so left hand. So make sure you're bouncing the ball, little catch. That's 20. So we're gonna do the same. Number five is bouncing on your right hand. Perfect. Number six it says V bounce. So remember, our V bounce is where the ball makes a V. Okay, I need 20 of those. So standing nice and flat, both hands need to be ready because the ball goes from one hand to the other. One, two, three. Number seven, we are going to do full toss, turn, and catch. This one's pretty hard. Your throw, last time we're just doing little throws. Throw's gonna be a little bit bigger, okay? And you've got 20 to do. I'm only gonna do a few because sometimes you get a little bit dizzy. So for this one, you can do about five. Let's do five, okay? So it's throw up, spin, catch. That's one. Throw up, spin, catch. Two. We go back the other way. Awesome. Okay, so throw up, do a little bit of a turn and catch the ball. You might get a little bit dizzy, so only do about five or so. Now, the last one says uh, make up some of your own. So, what you can do for this one is I want you to make up maybe one or two 
um, little activities that you can do with the ball um, and do it 20 times. For example, one that I like is in and out of your legs. Okay, I might do that 20 times. Could do around my waist 20 times. I know that there's a lot of people who love when I call that popcorn and you get to smash the ball down and catch it. You might do 20 popcorns. Okay, so it's up to you guys. Make one or two little activities that you would like to do, complete it 20 times. I want you to put me on pause now. Do that 20 times for your activities that you've made up. Once you're done, press play again. Okay guys, now you should have completed your warm up and completed your tennis ball activity or your bouncing activity. Great job. We are up to our netball skills now. If you've got a netball, like I said, awesome. If you don't have a netball, don't stress, okay? Use whatever you've got. Soccer, basketball, wrap up a jumper, a shoe, soft toy, cushion, anything you can throw, okay, that's not going to break things. Now, if you want, you can do this activity with a partner, maybe someone at home. If not, you can do what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be throwing the ball against the wall, okay? So, just to make it nice and easy, um, throw the ball against the wall, it will bounce back to you. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly talk you guys through your four passes, then I'm going to show you uh, what I want you guys to do. So the first one for netball is our chest pass. Okay, when you're doing your chest pass, you need to remember the ball starts at your chest. Okay, your thumbs are behind the ball because that's what you're pushing the ball really with. Okay, so balls at your chest. Remember to always step forward and you're stepping forward towards my target. I'm throwing the ball to you guys at home. I'm going to throw it at the camera. Starting my chest, step forward and push the ball towards your partner. So make sure you step forward and push. Some people we see, they step forward and then they push the ball. Now nah, we need to do it all at the same time. So as your legs come forward, you're pushing the ball at the same time. So push. Okay, so that's our chest pass. So pushing from your chest. Overhead pass, balls above your head, okay? And I want to see you stepping forward again as well, so step forward and push. Step forward and push, that's your overhead pass. Our bounce pass, okay? Now our bounce pass, the ball starts at your chest, okay? And instead of pushing the ball out, I want you to push the ball down, so the ball bounces and bounces up to your partner. Okay, so that's our bounce pass. Last one is our one arm shoulder pass. Now our one arm shoulder pass, doesn't matter which hand you use, the ball sits just above your shoulder, okay? And it's kind of like an overhand throw, but this hand here just sits at the front to support it, okay? And then what I want you to do is step forward and push the ball, and that's how you're throwing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can see me throwing against the wall, and I'm gonna complete the activity. The activity is, for you to do those four passes 30 times each. Okay, so I'm going to quickly turn the camera around. Awesome. You guys can see me against the wall. So what I'm going to do is my chest passes to start with. So make sure that you start at the same point every time. Push. Let your chest pass. I'm going to do 30. So it's one. Make sure you step forward and try the other foot. It's 20, 10 more. Make sure that ball starts with your chest. Five. Okay, that's 30 chest passes. That's your first one. We've got four passes we're going to do. Next one's our overhead pass. Okay, so over your head. Make sure you step forward and throw the ball against the wall. If it's with the partner, okay, you're doing the same thing. Just throwing and catching with your partner. 
We need to do 30. Make sure you're stepping into it. You can see I'm swapping feet. If you want to do the same leg, you can. Okay, but if you want to swap, use both feet, you can swap. Step into the pass. Hope you're counting 30. Awesome. Now, you can maybe see that when I'm passing the ball, my eyes are my target. So I have the Z up here as my target. So that's where I was aiming. And that's why my chest passes, it's a bit of a lower pass. And that's why I was kind of aiming here on the wall. So make sure when you are doing your passes, you're looking, you're aiming at your target as well. Okay, so we're going to do our bounce passes now. So bounce, step, bounce, and we've got 30. Bounce pass is good to get the ball past the player when it's really tight or when they're defending you. You can use a bounce pass. Now, when you get to 10, you've got the 10, I want you to do one hand bounce pass. So, 10 with your left hand. Two, three, four, Last 10 is with your right hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've done 10 on our left hand, 10 on our right hand, and 10 with both hands. That's 30. So we've done 30 chest passes. 30 overhead passes, 30 bounce passes, and 31 um, shoulder pass, okay? Our next part is what we're gonna be doing is just working on some shooting. So I'm just gonna tilt the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. Remember when you're shooting, okay? The ball starts just to um, above your shoulder on the side of your head. Some people have it up here, that's okay as well. Okay, but I like to have it down here, but pick your point where you like the ball to sit. One hand sits under the ball, okay? The other hand's just on the side. It's kind of just to, to keep the ball steady, okay, so it doesn't tip off. What I want you guys to do is pick a target. I'm gonna pick the O up there, and I'm gonna aim for the middle of it, really. That's where I'm gonna shoot. I want you guys to do this 20 times. I want you to practice your shooting. When you come back to school, it'd be awesome to see if a lot of you guys could shoot the ball up into the ring. And by doing these activities, it's going to be, um, help you to be able to do that. Okay, so standing nice and flat with your feet, balls in your shooting position. Make sure you bend your knees, okay, and push up. And you want to make sure you're aiming for your spot. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're aiming. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you see when Mr. Laley shoots a ball up, I make a little bit of a flick with my wrist, kind of like a swan neck or a goose, whatever you want to call it, okay? Just helps the ball with a little bit of back spin. So make sure that you're flicking your wrist as well as you shoot. <laughs> now I'm going to turn you guys back around. Beautiful. Now we are done with our netball, so you won't need your netball um, for the rest of this session. So we're done with that. Our activity now turns to our five minute netball run. So Netball, we need to be nice and fit um, and we need to be able to uh, run around for the entire activity. So what I'm going to get you guys to do is you can see my activity here where I started with my shuttle run, so cone one and cone two. I've actually got my iPad here. On my iPad, I'm going to get my timer out. I'm going to time five minutes on the iPad, okay? When I press go, I'm going to start running. Uh, 
and back, up and back. I'm gonna do it for five minutes, okay? I'm gonna count in my head how many times I go up and back. Up and back is one, because remember it's shuttle runs, okay? So not up, up and back, that's one point. I'm gonna give myself um, a point every time I go up and back. I'm gonna go for five minutes, okay? Then I'm gonna keep my score in my head, because we're gonna keep doing this, and we're gonna see if we can improve and get better and better. So remember, you need to run for five minutes. So I don't want you to sprint, I want you to take your time, jog, okay, because I don't want to see any walking. I want everyone to make sure that you're jogging for the entire time. Okay, I'm going to put my timer over here. Take some deep breaths before I get started. I'm going to press start on my timer for five minutes. Up, back, up, back. Remember, it is a jog. My timer started, I'll show you guys. There's my timer, okay. I've got five minutes of running, let's go. That's one. Two. Three. Remember, make sure you're getting a little bit tired. Focus on your breathing, deep breaths. Keep that steady pace we talk about, like our cross country, nice and steady. Make sure you go all the way to your cone. Got three minutes to go. Oh, my time has gone off. I've got two minutes to go. Okay, last two minutes. If you're feeling okay in your chest, maybe you can get a little bit quicker. Might want to start to speed up. Remember, you have to last for the whole time though, so don't go too quick. Minute 10. Okay, one minute to go. Keep working. Focus 
on that breathing. Up and back, up and back. 45 seconds. Nice job. Stop my timer there. Beautiful. Okay. Hopefully, you're a little bit puffy, you're a little bit sweat, sweaty, and you're a bit hot um, because you've had a go. Write down your number that you ran, okay? So, Mr. Lally lost count, so I'm actually going to go back over the video um, and I'm going to count how many times I did it. I want you guys, um, while you're watching the video, see if you can work out how many times Mr. Lader counted it. Um, and I want you to comment that on Shobi as well as how you went in your lesson. Okay, so I want you to make sure you watch this video. Comment how many shuttle runs you did. Comment how many shuttle runs Mr. Laley did. Okay, um, and I might give out some prizes to people who get it right. That was tiring, but lucky we're up to our last little part of the uh, lesson. We're going to do some stretching. We're going to cool our body down and relax again. Okay, so you can just sit on the floor if you want. Um, you can stand. Doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you. Okay. There is a picture on your lesson. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully, you can kind of see. Okay, this one here. It's on your show me, so make sure you have a look. It's got six stretches down there. We're going to do each stretch twice. We're going to do each stretch for 30 seconds, okay? So make sure you're counting. And if it's stretching your legs, you need to do this one twice and this one twice, okay? So our, we're starting off with our next stretch. So pull to one side. Take some deep breaths, just pull your neck across to a field stretch just through there. Okay, take some deep breaths. Nice and relaxed for our cool Okay, and swap over. So I might not hold these for exactly 30 seconds, but I like to count in my head to about 30. Nice and quick. Now swap it over. That next stretch again. Swap back over for the last one of the next stretches. Awesome, right? When you finish the stretch, just shake it out, okay? Shake your body out. Next one is your shoulder, so pull it across your body. This hand sits on this shoulder and pull it across. You'll feel a stretch across your shoulder. Shake it out and swap. Like I said, you want to do these for about 30 seconds. So if you need to pause the video, Pause the video and press start again. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, so that was our arms. The next one is our quadricep. Now quadriceps is muscle, the big one on the front of your leg. To stretch that, grab your foot from behind you. I'll show you from there. Okay, and you need to just pull your foot back. Pull it back a little bit, try and stay on nice and tall. Okay, you can't balance, hold on to something or hold on to um, a wall or something just to lean on it. Okay, then swap. So, foot comes back, hold it, put your arm out sometimes, it helps you just to balance. Awesome. Swap again, get your balance, pull that stretch, you'll feel it there. Swap again, last one for quadriceps. Perfect. Okay, so shake those quadriceps there. Awesome. Next one, 
is our hamstring stretch. Now, that's the back of our legs, okay? You can do this two ways. I'm gonna do it standing up to start with. So you can reach down, lift your toe up, okay, and grab the top of your toe. You'll feel your hamstring stretching. So that's our first one. Swap over, grab that toe, pull it back. If you can't feel the stretch, give it a little bit of a pull. You'll be able to feel the stretch a bit more. The second way you can do it is you can take a seat, okay? One foot out in front, one foot back, and just lean forward and grab the end of your toes. Okay, you'll feel that stretch in your leg. So swap it over, stretch out, grab your toes. Can't grab your toes, just touch your toes. Can't touch your toes, just try and reach forward. Okay, but most of us should be able to grab our toes. This one is our abdominal stretch. Stretches your tummy muscles, okay? So just leaning forward, okay? All we need to do is look up to the sky as high as you can, okay? And try and look back over your head. So just like this. And I want you to hold that stretch for about five seconds. Have a rest. Five seconds. Have a rest, okay? That's our abdominal stretch. Now we've got our lower back stretch is our last one. Okay, you can do this two ways. Um, I like to do it like this. This is when you're, you've got your legs up, okay, and you just put them to the side. To the side, okay, stretching your lower back. The other way you can do it is if you pull your leg up like that, one leg at a time. That will also stretch your lower back. What I want you guys to do is I want you to find two more stretches, search them up, ask your brother, sister, maybe family member, mum or dad, if they know any stretches, and I want you to do them as well. So find two more stretches for you um, to finish off our session. Now guys, once you are done, give yourself a big clap, give yourself a pat on the back because it is really, really hard sometimes to get motivated to do a PE lesson while we're stuck at home. Okay, but it's super duper important that we continue to be active. We're really eating healthy and drinking lots of water. I spoke to a lot of you guys last week on WebEx, okay, and we'll continue to do that this week. But what I want you guys to do is to make sure during recess, um, during lunch, before and after school, try and get out um, and do some extra physical activity. Really, really important at this time that we're doing as much as we can. Do it with family, okay? So if you're going to the park, try and get your brothers and sisters, mum and dad to do some running with you as well. Remember, we don't go out on our own. We always go with older brothers or sisters or mum or dad or family. We never go out on our own, okay? So if you're going down the street, you must go with someone. Make sure that I have got here the choice board, okay? So those people who have access to the choice board, nice work. I want to see more people doing the choice board. If you're not sure about the choice board, it is on Shobi. Everything is on Shobi. Week one, week two, week three, and this lesson, week four, all on Shobi. And you can do the lessons as many times as you like, okay? Make sure you keep working, stay positive. Hopefully in a week or so, who knows, you guys might be back at school. Um, but I know that myself, Mr. Hero and all of the other staff are looking forward to seeing you guys. I will be on WebEx for your meeting. Um, so make sure you jump on WebEx, ask me any questions. Make sure you guys are commenting on Shobi. When you complete your lesson, write on Shobi how you went. There were so many people last week who did not write on Shobi. So I don't know how you've gone. Let me know. Okay. Keep up the good work, guys. I'll be back next week with another video. We are doing soccer next week. So I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Okay. See you guys. Keep up the good work.